I am the only person in the world that gets paid to teach NBA players dunks. Do you have a dunk mentor? I mean, yes. Who? His name is Chuck. Stero High grad Chuck Malone, the Naples resident, is considered the dunk whisperer. He's helped numerous players like Paul George and John Wall prepare for dunk contests. I'm Chuck Malone, CEO and founder of Team Flight Brothers, also the official dunk coach of the NBA, and this is my hustle. I never wanted to be there when school was happening, but I always wanted to be there when no one was there so we could practice dunks. Like, we literally used to break into my high school. We would go there, me and a couple friends, and we would set up cameras and just see what we looked like dunking. Chuck used to carry a camera with him everywhere. Well, I remember when I first moved down here, uh, I heard about him, but I never really met him. You know, I'm thinking, oh, you, you look at Chuck and you underestimate him. But he got the ball and he just took off and I was like, Okay, uh, he got some bounce. But he has a knack for this. He has his, like his grandfather said, who would ever think a white boy could jump? Like when we started getting good, he was like, man, like this is, uh, this is actually pretty dope. We started making our own like little highlights. It was around 2000, uh, and somebody had posted a picture of me on a website, uh, and then all of a sudden, a company in France got a hold of me. Uh, and they, you know, told me that they wanted to pay me to come do dunk shows in, like, in Taiwan. When he came back from that trip, he said, you know that, I really enjoy that, but I don't think they run, they, they run the system well. I don't think they know exactly what they're doing. They, you know, we were kind of treated like, uh, like a circus kind of thing. I mean, initially, my first thought was like, I'm gonna go home and make a team and take this team out. Well, it, like the name Flight Brothers comes from uh, from myself and my best friend Micah. We would just like dunk like crazy and people would see us around and be like, oh, there goes the Flight Brothers. And then once I started putting players together, I would find them, fly them in, uh, and check them out. And if they were good, we'd try to make something happen. We'd film stuff, start uploading videos on like different streaming sites. This is still before, you know, probably three years before YouTube's existing. Once I put the players together, it was like, okay, team Flight Brothers. And that's how, TFB was born. We didn't know how finances were going to be made. Uh, I was working two, three jobs to, you know, to facilitate like flying guys in. Then YouTube came along and kind of changed all that. Fortunately, I ran into an athlete that was just like a freak of nature, who's T Dub. He's like our 5'9 superstar for so many years. Uh, and we put a video up of him, filmed it at two o'clock in the morning, just a bunch of dunks, put it up. Four o'clock in the morning, went to sleep, woke up 11 a.m. the next day, and it had a million views on it. We were on the front page of YouTube. Immediately, we had an email from YouTube, and we get on the phone, he talked to me about their partner program, uh, and how we can get paid for like ads popping up on our videos. It's like, all right, let's try it out. And then, you know, four months later, first check came from YouTube, and I was like, I think I'm gonna quit my job soon. <laughs> in that era, the early YouTube era, a lot of the kids that were watching, the high schoolers, that were huge Team Flight Brothers fans, they end up do, doing, being really good. Top players in the country. Ends up like, okay, who's this John Wall kid? Like that's hitting me up asking me about dunk tips. All of a sudden he's the number one player in the country. Then he's in the NBA. Same thing, Terrence Ross, he was at Washington. Huge Team Flight Brothers fans. They're in the, then all of a sudden they have an opportunity to be in the dunk contest. They know they can hit me up and be like, hey, uh, I don't have time to think of dunks, like, can you do it for me? A lot of people be double pumping, but uh, I watched some Kenny Dukes tapes and Team Flight Brothers and I've seen it and I came up with a great opportunity to do it. And then people started being like, okay, well, we gotta go talk to this Chuck guy and see what, you know, why he knows something that we don't. 2015 came around, Victor Oladipo hit me up and he's like, yeah, man, what can I do, like, against this guy? He spins really well, so I suggested he do, do a 540 because nobody's ever done one in an NBA dunk contest. Never been done. No, that's, that's Mr. 540. That's Mr. 540. And he's still, you know, five years later, the only guy to ever do a 540 in a dunk contest. Glenn Robinson in 2017 was the underdog by a lot. Uh, and honestly, the first time I went and worked with him, I was like, we got a lot of work to do. He had never like jumped over anyone, never really, never been in a dunk contest. Put the guy on the guy's shoulders <laughs> instead of just like being lined up. So they were like stacked on top of each other. 
He's like, are you serious? Did it the first try. And then, see, I worked with Donovan Mitchell, who won in 2018, uh, this past year with Hami Diallo. After practice, he was like, so what am I gonna do? Like, what? He's like, I'll do those dunks. I'm like, yeah, you're not doing that. It's like, you're, you're gonna jump over Shaq. And he's like, huh? He's like, what do you mean I'm gonna jump over Shaq? I was like, yeah, you're gonna jump over Shaq. Man. A lot of people say that's like a top 10 dunk, you know, dunk contest ever. The years prior, my guys were just like, <laughs> putting on great performances and winning every year. The guy that worked for the NBA, you know, who's like a really good guy, he <laughs> hit me up and he's just like, hey, like you're doing really good things with all these guys that we didn't think were gonna do good. Like we need you on our team. Uh, and obviously like that's, that's what I was waiting for the whole time. This has never been a position. They literally made a dunk coach position just for me. It's never, never happened before. Oh, you're thinking about it too much now. <laughs> Trying to put it in a perfect spot. Or either that or the slingshot. I'll do both. I'll do both. We just had uh, Will Button come through for a little dunk session to kind of kind of shake, uh, shake off the rust. We have a couple tours coming up. So just going through some dunks and making sure his elevation's all right. I've been with Team Flight Brother since 2010. Chuck improved me as a dunker a lot. Um, normally, I'm not as creative, but he brought the creative side out of me. Right now, we're actually on the way to my old high school, Astero. Uh, we're going to work out a little bit. Uh, the past probably like eight months, I've been on like a crazy, crazy gym kick. I was unfortunately fell into uh, the travel life. I was about 265 pounds. I've lost uh, about 65 to 70 pounds. It's like somewhere in the middle. I mean, it was tough because when I first started working with NBA guys, I could still dunk. So they'd look at me and be like, hey, like, you're the dunk guy, like you can dunk. And so I would be able to go ahead and dunk. And then the past couple of years, I haven't been able to. Uh, so that was like tough. And then also like for other opportunities and stuff. I've been on like some TV shows and there's been opportunities that came that my way. And I mean, let's let's face it, like unfortunately, like if you're massively overweight, you're not really that camera friendly. I mean, I'm pretty happy where I am, um, but I just want to maintain and like just be healthier like all the time. <laughs> like I just, I don't ever want to be you know, gain weight again. Uh, so, I mean, the passion is there, he recognized it. I had no idea he was going to make a living of this. But um, I think he's here to stay. At first, I was very against it because obviously you want your kids to go off to college and get a huge college degree and go and be a professional doing something. Well, he is a professional. He made a new profession basically is what it is. I have one goal that I've had like since I've like seen this become a reality and it's to, to have dunking in the Olympics. And that's that's my like last goal with everything. My hustle is just like the grind. It's like relentlessness, uh, just never like allowing somebody to tell you you can't do something. Uh, it's tell me I can't do it, I'm gonna do it five times and I'm gonna do it better every freaking time. That's my hustle. That's just how John Charlie is. I shouldn't say Charlie, he's gonna kill me. 